In this tutorial, we'll move forward with our filmmaking, our movie making project. It's already set up here in the Gantt chart. But we're going to set up the predecessors and start to actually sequence out this project so it's, it's executable and we can start scheduling and really planning when people are going to do certain work. At this point, all of our tasks are loaded. The durations are set out here, 10 days, 20 days, etc. And we see over here on the right the blue bars represent that. However, right now it's set that all 11 of these tasks would start, or all 10 of these tasks rather, and two milestones would all start on the first day, which is unrealistic because some things need to happen in a certain sequence. So we're going to go over here to the precedence column, and project approval is the start, so nothing will occur before that. So script writing, what can actually occur as soon as the project's approved. So the predecessor of script writing will be that the project is approved. And as soon as I put that in, we see this line and arrow show up, and that's showing that as soon as that occurs, we can start script writing. Let's move down here, and I'll show you a couple different ways of addressing this. Uh, this is a summary activity, so or summary test, so we wouldn't have a predecessor. But as soon as the project is approved, we can go ahead with hiring the secretary. So that'll be a one as, a, as well. And as soon as the secretary is hired, then we could move ahead with uh, uh, proposing the shoots, or now we, you know what, we can start proposing the shoots as soon as the project's approved. We can schedule the shoots immediately after we have the secretary in place and the proposed shoots in place. So there's gonna, actually going to be two, and sure enough, now we see two lines and two blue arrows here lining up. And if you go straight back across, we'll see that scheduled shoots can occur when those two are complete. Now let's try a little different this time. Approved script can be done as soon as the script is written. So if I double click on this line, a detail menu appears. It's called Task Information. And I can actually set the predecessors here rather than going in and um, typing them in directly. So I'm actually looking for activity number two, and it has a drop down, and I can choose from them if, if the numbers are difficult to catch up with. So it would just be script writing, and I'll click OK, and it, it has the same effect. Now let me put these others in. After it's approved, then we'll go through another uh, revision of it or assume that it's not completely approved. So that would tie to seven. Then as soon as it, the revision's all finished, then we can begin our shooting. When shooting's done, then we can do our editing. When editing's done, we can do our screening. So now all our precedents are entered. And if I scroll over here to the right, I see that my project now stretches out and my activities are sequenced and see that the project will run all the way through until looks like mid uh, early December. Oh, and there we go. Deliver the finished product, and I can do that as soon as the screening's over. So now I'll see my, there it is, my milestone at the end of the project. I can just scroll this back across so we can get back to my start. One other item I want to show you about this scheduling is let's, uh, let's add a little something on here. Let's go to the editing one, and we'll open that. And the default here in Microsoft Project is that when we set up the precedence that editing can begin as soon as the shooting is completed. It is defaulted to finish to start, so that means when shooting finishes, editing can start. Now, if we actually need to have a, a, a break in between the two to maybe relocate or do some changes or, or have the film processed, then we can add some time to that, and I'm going to do that. It's called a lag or a lead in uh, Microsoft Project. Everything's lag, so it's going to be a positive 10. And I put that in there, and let's see the effect of that. If I scroll over here, there it is. We see this blue line stretched out. What it has done is now Microsoft has allowed 10 days gap between the start of those project of those two items. Now, if in the cases we could start editing before we finish shooting, then that would be a negative lag. And let's say we're going to start editing five days, negative five, before the end of shooting. And we'll see the exact opposite effect in our blue bars over here, where, there it is, five days prior to the scheduled end of shooting, then we'll begin the editing. And that'll help condense a project. So if realistically we can start some activities before others finish, this would be a uh, rel realistic